Welcome to Linux Actuator Academy video series for industrial actuators. I'm Hunter and in this episode we'll talk about cables and plugs for electric linear actuators and what to consider when mounting a cable to a Linux industrial actuator. Once you've chosen an actuator, you'll need cables to get it running, meaning that an interface between the actuator and machinery is needed. There are many cable solutions for connecting actuators. In this video, I'm going to talk about power cables and signal cables. PVC is a widely used material for cables since it is highly insulating, flexible, and resists repeat mechanical impacts without breaking. This is why PVC cables are primarily used for Linac industrial actuators. To ensure optimal signal quality and to prevent power loss, it is recommended to choose the shortest cable length possible. Generally, for Linac industrial actuators, there are three cable types available. A separate power and signal cable, as seen here, a single cable for both power and signal, and a Y cable. Let's take a look at a typical power cable. The cable has a plug with six pins. These are spliced into two wires of three pins each, with the positive and negative power input. Along with the wire thickness, this enables the power cable to handle up to 30 amps. All that is visible is a brown, and a blue wire, ensuring a simple connection to the power supply. Having a separate power and signal cable increases the flexibility and allows it to be easier to integrate actuators into various machinery. For example, you can have a power supply on one end and a motor controller on the other end. For actuators that have a lower current consumption, a single cable can handle both power and signal. In other cases, an actuator may have a Y cable, which is connected to the two ports in the actuator and has a single plug for both power and signal in the other end. The signal cable comes with six pins as well. Each wire has a specific color according to its function. If you, for instance, choose an actuator with integrated controller, the color will always be linked to the function based on the select integrated controller options. This is regardless of the type of actuator, which makes it easier when connecting the cable to the machinery or the machinery's control. By choosing a customized cable solution along with your industrial linear actuator, you can unlock the benefits of a simple plug and play solution. In most cases, all you need is the actuator with the preferred cable option and two bolts, one bolt for the back fixture and one bolt for the piston rod eye. Then your application will be up and running in no time. This is one of the advantages that really separates an electric actuator from hydraulics and pneumatics where installation can be far more complex. There are several different industrial plugs on the market. Deutsch DT or AMP SuperSil plugs are often used for Linac industrial actuators, depending on the customer's preferred choice. Both plugs are designed for use in harsh environments where even small degradations in the connection may be critical. The thermoplastic molding offers a wide operating temperature range and the silicon rear wire and interface seals allow the plugs to withstand conditions of extreme temperature and moisture. The Deutsch and AMP plugs both guarantee maximum protection against water and dust penetration. They are particularly suitable in all places with adverse pressure or moisture conditions. Linac industrial actuators are always tested with the cable mounted before leaving production. This ensures that the actuator's connection is correct and working. For an actuator to comply with IP69K, there must always be an overmold at the end of the cable. To retain the high IP protection, it is important to take precautions and design the wire connection to the machinery in a way where the cable end is kept inside a closed, protected area. This will avoid water spraying into the plug from where it might enter the actuator. When creating a casting, you usually do it with a heat shrink, which becomes a funnel. When the actuator runs, the funnel creates a vacuum that draws the liquid into the cable and into the actuator, which is not good. So the plug must be well wrapped up. If you have a plug with a shrink reflector, it must be in a place where it is dry. On Linac industrial actuators, the cabling and housing is designed so the cable can be replaced without compromising the IP degree. There are many different solutions for cables and plugs, and because of the changing market, it's difficult to make standard cables. So when looking for a cable to connect an actuator with a machine, always have this in mind. To find the cable requirements, remember to shield the cable and avoid bending the cable. 
So this was a short introduction into cables and plugs for Linac industrial actuators. If you have any questions about these, please feel free to reach out to your local Linac office. Thank you so much for watching.